their dreams could come true or be dashed to the ground. Every satellite launch is a nerve-wracking moment. Hundreds of millions of dollars of sophisticated electronics poised to deliver vital services to mankind. Now, finally, H-2A Flight 8 is ready for launch. On board is the four-ton ALOS satellite, nicknamed Daichi, which means Great Land. It's hoped this remote sensing satellite will generate vast amounts of data about the Earth's surface and provide vital warning signs of climate change and environmental impact. But first, it has to be launched successfully into an orbit 700 kilometers high. Right now, the $480 million satellite is sitting on top of 275 tons of highly flammable fuel. Liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen chilled to minus 253 degrees Celsius. When the engines are fired for the launch, the fuel is rapidly heated up to 3,000 degrees Celsius. It's a critical moment. But Flight 8 lifts off without a hitch. Daichi is on its way. Just 16 minutes and 16 seconds later, the satellite separates from the launch vehicle and is safely injected into its orbit. Flight 8 is a success. Now, staff at Tanegashima Space Center must focus on the next launch, Flight 9. Just 25 days away and carrying the heaviest payload ever attempted by Japan. Four hundred and sixty years ago, shipwrecked Portuguese merchants found themselves washed ashore just a few kilometers from where Tanegashima Space Center stands today. They brought with them a powerful technology unknown in Japan at that time, the firearm. The Japanese were captivated by this device, and in less than a decade, they had mastered the science of ballistics. Now they hope their expertise in rocket launches will successfully fire a projectile from Tanegashima to a destination 36,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. Flight 9's first and second stages have already arrived. Transported across Tanegashima Island in a slow moving convoy in the dead of night. The destination? The Launch Complex's Vehicle Assembly Building, or VAB. At 81 meters in height, the VAV is the largest structure at Tanegashima Space Center. It was fully upgraded for the H-2A program. As a result, two launch vehicles can now be prepared side by side. This is where they assemble the rocket very carefully. They lift the H-2A's first stage by crane onto a mobile launch platform. Once secured, the second stage and interstage sections are lowered on top. Because of the weight of Flight 9's payload, the rocket will have two solid boosters and four additional strap-on boosters. Throughout this assembly process, engineers check the rocket's onboard systems. But because of the relative simplicity of the H-2A's design, compared to its predecessor, the H-2, this process takes a third of the time. When we changed to H2A from the operation perspective, what used to take three months now only takes one month. Meanwhile, the rocket's precious cargo, MTSAT-2, undergoes final assembly and testing in a climate-controlled, dust-free environment. Once they've loaded the satellite into its fairing, they transfer it to the VAB and fit it on board the H-2A launch vehicle. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency has an ambitious plan. 
Over the next 20 years, it hopes to launch more satellites like MTSAT-2. The aim is to create an orbiting information gathering and warning system for disaster and crisis management. The devastating impact of earthquakes, tsunamis, and volatile weather events has made this a high priority. The network will also monitor global environmental change. Satellites are critical to modern life. Nowhere more so than in Japan, one of the world's most technologically advanced countries. Japan's ETS-8 series of satellites is designed to test the use of mobile communications from higher Earth orbit. Eventually, mobile communications will go through satellites instead of receivers on hills. This will put Japan at the leading edge of digital communications. Right now, Japan is keen to gain a slice of the commercial satellite launch market. But that market is changing dramatically. Since 1980, a European consortium, Ariane Space, has become the world leader in commercial launch services, with more than 260 payloads successfully launched into orbit. Now the deck is being reshuffled as new alliances form in the global market. Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries has joined in partnership with Boeing Launch Services and Ariane Space. Japan is a partner of the International Space Station. Japan wants to be present on the commercial market, and so this is why we team together with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The International Space Station is a staging post for nations with dreams of colonizing space. Among them, Japan. Since 1990, Japanese scientists have been working on a space module that will be joined to the space station. Named Kibo, meaning hope in Japanese, the manned experimental facility consists of a pressurized module about the size of a large sightseeing bus. This will allow up to four astronauts to work comfortably in an Earth-like atmosphere. Attached to the pressurized module, will be an exposed area where they can conduct experiments in open space. Astronauts will be able to exchange experiment payloads from the pressurized module using a special robotic arm, the Kibo manipulator. Japan is relying on NASA to deliver the Kibo module to the space station. The H-2A simply doesn't have the lifting power for anything this size or weight. To launch their own manned mission into space, Japan will need a rocket even more powerful than the H-2A. Known as the H-2B, it's already under development. In terms of the size of a rocket, H-2B will be able to compare with any other rockets in the world. To send a man into space has been the big dream of this country for a very long time. It will be very significant to achieve it also from an engineer's point of view. But right now, there's only one thing on the minds of the engineers and aerospace workers gathered at Tanegashima Space Center, achieving success with H-2A Flight 9. Before the vehicle is moved onto the launch pad, a Shinto priest blesses the rocket to help assure it has an untroubled journey into space. The H-2A is finally ready to be moved from the vehicle assembly building. The press look on as the world's largest garage door opens. Two massive mobile launch vehicles slowly haul their 300-ton cargo towards the launch pad. Each vehicle is capable of lifting and transporting 650 tons. Together, they can carry twice that weight. So these mega transporters shouldn't experience any difficulty. Custom built for this job, each mighty machine has 14 axles, 56 wheels, and is computer controlled for the duration of this vital journey. 
At two kilometers an hour, Flight 9 takes 25 minutes to reach the launch pad.